Hello, my name is Kevin Ramsey and this is my 3D Games pitch. My 3D game will be set 50 years in the future where we discover time travel and we go back to the prehistoric age where dinosaurs rode the earth and you have to run away from dinosaurs to get back to the time machine to return to 2068. The brief says that we have to be in 50 years in the future, which it is, but you go back in time, so it's like a loophole. And it has to be for 12 plus, so there's no major violence or any blood or anything like that. <laughs> That's some of the research I did. In some of my names, where I researched four separate names, which was Run Jeremy, Run 26 to 8, Run, Don't Look Back, and Roll a Snowman. I did a questionnaire on which uh, people preferred. Most people said Run Jeremy, Run 26 to 8, and it was also not copyrighted, so I went with that name. <laughs> I did some research on four other games, which was Temple Run, Temple Run 3D, Dino Run DX, and Shadow Ninja Endless Runner. Multiple um, of the three games that were on there were the, like the best-selling ones, so I decided to went with a, a free game instead of like a five-pound game or anything like that. These are some of the ideas for my 3D games, where I've done animation ideas for T-Rex, Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Triceratops. I went with some of the scenery ideas, which was the forest mountain, and like a river, but it's not up there. Um, I did ideas for what the game could be, like running, like going through caves, which period it could be in. It's my mood board, so the dinosaurs build tension because they're always chasing you, which makes you want to push on to the time machine. The robot dinosaurs are in your pathway, they're in the way, you have to go around them. The snowmen come running at you through the ship and you have to avoid them to get back to the time machine. The forest, like the trees, are in your way, you have to go around them to get to the time machine. They also slow you down to make the dinosaurs get closer to you if you're too far ahead. Same with the mountains, but there will be more like a maze, so you have to find your way to the, to the time machine, so the dinosaurs have time to pick up, but they could also get lost in the maze. There's some of the concept art that I did. One was the base, one is the stegosaurus. Here's a little description of the animation where he's going to step on his back legs and swing his tail. That's the brachiosaurus, the robot. The brachiosaurus is going to kneel down, lean his head, eat. The robot's gonna do like a little fighting pose where he's like aiming at you. This is the main villain which chases you. He's gonna do like a running animation where he's chomping away, and then there's gonna be a bigger version of him without the horn, which is gonna be the T Rex where you have to run underneath him as he's roaring at you. This is the style, so like a blocky style. So it's all child friendly, so all the dinosaurs made out of blocks, squares, triangles, things like that to make them look like dinosaurs, but they're just blocks. This is the story, so you crash, you're a terrible pilot, uh, you leave because dinosaurs are chasing you, you run through some forests, you run through mountains, you have to get all the way to the time machine where you discover there's caged dinosaurs up and at the back is the time machine where you can return to 2068. Uh, this is the video. As you can see, that's the base where you start at, and then you have to run through the forest where you see like dinosaurs doing their special animations. And then you have to run through cages, go around the mountains, go through the, like, the maze, go underneath the roaring T-Rex, and then you go into the ship. And then this is my Gantt chart for my progress. Yeah, I've labeled it up into three separate books. So wow! How did you get Starburst juice in the gum? Well, you know, I'll just get some red juice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you're just running me with that. Come on. Hi. So, the first month is a planning stage, so I'm getting everything together, knowing what I need and whatnot. The second month is the designing stage, so I know what everything's going to look like and how the scenery is going to turn out. And then the, fact, the third month is actually making it all and popping it all into the game and making it all work. Oh, and it's all going well, like I'm on track, I just need sounds from the game really. This is a contingency plan if anything goes wrong, so if I'm ill I'll work at home. 
if anything goes wrong at the game expo, I'll try out different computers, I'll bring it on a flash drive just in case it doesn't work for the Google Drive. And if now that like programming works, I'll restart Unity and check the code. Hardware, software, hardware is computer, keyboard, mouse, computer screen. Uh, software is Unity, 3D Max, Blender, and Photoshop. This is the budget, so I have times all the per month ones by free and added them all together to get £1,083. This is the target audience, which is 12 plus. I did a survey on um, on what they what they would like in the game, so dinosaurs, like fights, things like that. I also did a or well, some of the survey. I did a thing to actually see what um, what a 12 plus game would want to make sure that everything in my game is appropriate for 12 plus, and make sure it's not over 12, 16 plus or anything like that, and make sure it's not under 12 plus. Explanation of my research, everything in my game has helped me to produce my game for a 12 plus audience, so nothing is too graphic or under graphic, nothing's too comedical, but not as comical as like a funny movie. Legal and ethical, so legal will be like copyright and ratings, so everything in my game has been made by me, no, no one else has touched anything on it, so everything is copyright proof, and the rating is obviously 12 plus, I'm not going to go over that or under that. Ethical will be racism, sexism, education, so none of my game is like against black people or white people, uh, none of it's like mean to women or against women or anything like that. It, the gender neutral, you know, you don't even know the gender of your own character. Educational, like, you're gonna learn something about dinosaurs while playing my game at least. Like, how they move, how they react to things happening to them. And then, not as much violence because it's a 12 plus. USB, you time travel back to, well, you time travel from 2068 back to the prehistoric era, and then you run from dinosaurs to get back to 2068. Questions? Okay, yeah, f a few. <coughs> yeah, really interesting idea. So that, how do we know, so as a player, yeah, so we're, we're in the future, how, how are you going to show the player that you've gone back in time to when there are dinosaurs that are the earth? Um, how are you going to show that? I'm going to try and make a cutscene show that you're going back in time, like a wormhole or something like that, to show you crashing, and then you're going to have to like start the game from that point. Okay. All right. Um, so, what is the aim of the game? What what was the objective? Well, the original objective was to capture dinosaurs, but then because of the time space we have, I've decided went for a, a running away from dinosaurs to return back to your time period. But there's still dinosaurs in cages to show that the robots have went off and captured dinosaurs without you there. Okay. Okay. So, in terms of are there any, I bet, I doubt there are, but are there any similar games to, to this game that are out in the market at the current time? Not really, it was hard to find before I found. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, what um, perspective is your game actually going to play out in? Um, see that? First person, so everything will be in your face no matter what you do. First person, okay. Uh, what kind of interactions are going to take place inside of your game as well. well. If you bump into things, it's going to like bounce you back, so it's like you're actually running into them, and then that's going to slow you down so dinosaurs can catch up. So there are going to be some dinosaurs chasing you, but others that are already in place? Yeah, so level. they're just doing like a unique animation, so you have time to look at them while you're running past. Okay. Uh, you also talked about trying not to be under graphic with your age rating. Can you explain what you mean by that? So, if uh, you're over graphic, you're obviously going to be like showing blood, things like that. But if you're under graphic, then it's all going to be like really laughing, things like that. So like a free plus game would be like Lego games. But if you're all, if you're like wanting 12 plus, you really want to show like a good amount of both. So you see them attacking, but you don't actually see the blood. Okay. Okay, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. One last question. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Obviously we're in Term 3 now, what have you learned in Terms 1 and 2 that you can apply to, to this project? Well, I've learned how to use 3D Max to actually make animations and all the 3D models that I've actually used. And then I've also learned how to code for a 3D game.
Okay. Did uh, did the experience of the expo? Did, were there any mistakes you made there that you you're not going to make again for this project? Le leaving my game unattended. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you, what do you mean by that? Well, at the expo, I just walked away from my team, my game, and just left it on. This time, I might just stay by my game and actually like be there to talk people through it. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kevin.